one of the things that happened while I was just young, so I was only 16. Yeah, so, so I was only 16 years old. And um, uh, 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 Dr. Franklin, who's a, a um, planetary specialist, came up and he asked me if I could do a project for him. And it was to look for these faint variations in brightness along the outer edge of Saturn's rings. Right. And he asked me if it, he thought it was possible to see one tenth of a variation along these rings. I thought about it and I said, well, I'll give it a, I'll give it a shot. I think it's, it's possible. Yeah. So I did. Anyway, long story short, short, after a month of observing, he was out using a larger telescope with an electronic device that measures star uh, light. So it's like a, it's a photometer. Right. <laughs> anyway, so it's not visual. I was doing it visual. He was doing it photometrically. Okay. And he wanted to compare the eye against the machine. And it turned out that it, it, we were we were synced. Mm. My observations coincided with that. So it was yeah. really wonderful. He wrote a paper. And then I went back to the telescope and I said, wow, if he was looking for a little faint variation in the outer part of Saturn's ring, maybe there's something in the inside, in the middle ring, which is bigger and brighter. So I started my own project and I started looking for faint details in it. And it took a while, took a lot of time to figure out how best to do this. But then one day I did, I saw these finger-like projections going across the rings radially, all the way across the rings. Right. And they changed over time. Sometimes it was one, sometimes it was two, sometimes they were here, sometimes they were there, and they moved with the planet, all the stuff. Yeah. So I made drawings. And I went down and I showed them to him. And I said, look at Dr. Franklin, there's something else. They're in the ring. And he says, oh, Steve, you do incredible work, but unfortunately it's impossible. They can't exist. <laughs> and he explained why. So here's this Harvard professor, a guru of planetary astronomy, <laughs> telling me that why these things can exist because of Keplerian rotation, which means the inner parts of Saturn's rings rotate faster than the outer parts. So anything that crossed the rings couldn't survive and they would be torn apart by sheer forces and all this stuff. And I was like, wow, okay. So I said, I better go back and look. So <laughs> yeah. I go back and look, still there. <laughs> still there. And he just said, Steve, you know, what can I say? But uh, it, it must be an illusion of some sort. So I continued to observe them. I submitted them to journals. I submitted, my, I made drawings. I made for four years. Okay. No one accepted anything. No one would really? publish the drawings. No one did anything until the voyagers were going out to Saturn. Yeah. And now, by this time, I was working for Sky and Telescope magazine. And um, yeah, and I was young too. <laughs> I started working for them. Um, there was a, a, a specialist, planetary specialist, who was showing me images, early images from Voyager, way, mm -hmm. way, still like, you know, I don't know how many millions of miles away, still from Saturn, but little tinky things. And I just yeah. said, oh, that's nothing. And he kept showing me images till finally I said, look it. He's going out to California to see the close encounter at JPL. I said, look at, I'm off to Switzerland. So when Voyager sees these, you know, little radial fingers in ring B, then I want you to call me up. And then yeah. you can tell me what Voyager can see. So, <laughs> you know, I said it half jokingly. Yeah. But at the same time, seriously, <laughs> it's like, I want to know. I'm going to yeah. be away. <laughs> So meanwhile, I was away while all this happened, but he was at he was at JPL, huge screen, huge screen. And the first images came back of Saturn's rings close up, and here were the radial fingers. And he just like fell over in his chair. <laughs> Thanks for watching that clip. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe and check out the full episode. All links are in the description. 
Be nice, be happy, be cool.